What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Encino, California and about to tour this newly constructed Hampton style home right behind me. This property on the main house has five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, and we have two identical guest houses with their own bathrooms. Approximately 7,000 square feet of interior space built on a 34,578 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $7,495,000. And more information on the property will be down in the description. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the developer, JB Home Builders, and the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now, let's get started. <laughs> From the street level, your gates open up to this 300 feet private driveway that takes you up here. Each side of the driveway is nicely hedged and landscaped. And as we come up from the driveway, we land right here, plenty of parking space. And on this side, we have one of the two identical guest houses. Since they're identical, we'll tour the one on the backyard. And as we look towards this side, this is where we can get a good look at the main house. Three car garage, old world, white painted brick on the outside. Again, this house has an Hamptons style architecture and I personally really like these awning designs with the spear rods. And we see shutter details and grid windows that really ties that modern and traditional architecture together. Now let's go inside and take a look. Here we are at the entry of this property. I really like this two panel solid wood door with side lights and transom window above. And we have 14 foot ceilings here. And on my left hand side, this is where we have the formal living room area. Nice and open, gas fireplace with built-ins on the each side. And we have a beautiful chandelier above from Restoration Hardware. As I go this way, I really like these herringbone pattern installed hardwood floors at the entry of this property. I see you hit, say herringbone and I see you say chevron a lot. What's the difference between the two of them? Good question. So if this was a chevron pattern, you would see a straight line and each plank join each other with a 45 degree cut. Versus if it's a herringbone pattern, you can see kind of they stack on top of each other without any cuts. That's how I determine whether it's herringbone or chevron pattern. Okay, that makes sense. So moving on from the floors, we have a really cool feature on our left hand side. Before we talk about that, why don't we go this side of the house so we can work our way into the property. The first door that we go through, this is where we have the three car garage, nicely polished concrete floors, good space. And we have a door right here that opens up to the back of the property where you can access your trash cans and all that. And before we leave this garage, I have a cool feature. So they installed these side garage door openers, which are great, but Mikey, check this out. As soon as you click, the lock automatically opens. And when I put the garage door down, Let's do that. As soon as the door reaches to the bottom, it automatically locks. Now that's a cool feature. This is the first time I've seen this. Now let's get out of the garage. I'll hold the door for you guys. Oh, well, thank you. All right, right off the garage, we have a mudroom here and a little utility storage on my back. And as we go this way, this is where we have the screening room. Nice padded walls throughout the room, good seating. And I mean, you get your projector above and you even get a bit of a window right here. And in case you want to open that window, there you go. It's automatic, which is great. Let there be light. Mm-hmm. And now, why don't we leave this room so we can continue our tour? All right, we're back at the hallway. Now, let's show this cool feature that we have here interior courtyard what's nice about this space is number one you get these sliders tuck all the way till the end let me open up the other side as well you get natural light right in the center of the home and it's nice to have this opening for getting some breeze into the property as well it's a good outdoor space it's open on top 
They even have the outdoor string light fixtures that really cozy up the space. And lastly, I really like these pavered floors that they have here. Again, very cool feature. This is something we don't see every day. Now, let's talk about the formal dining room area. Since this home is more on the traditional side, we have each space is well-defined within the property. In this case, this is the formal dining room area, beautiful chandelier. I personally really like this solid stone table right here, even the legs are stone. French doors open up to the side of the property, wainscoting, wood panel ceilings, you have it all. Now, this opening goes to the pantry. Before we do that, let's take the main hallway, show this powder room that we have here. Again, for the first floor, nice light fixtures, wallpaper, beautiful fabricated countertop vanity combo, and you have your toilet on this side. Wainscoting continues on the walls, and this is where we have the family room and the kitchen. First, let's talk about the kitchen. White shaker cabinets with chrome handles, and we have dual islands here. This one is positioned as a bar seating. You get chairs for six, and I really like the column details that they have on the each corner of this island setup. Right here, we have the paneled fridge and freezer with the wine fridge right in the center with these really cool racks. Uh, that smells brand new. Yep, that's right. And before we continue our tour with the kitchen, we have a hallway right here. Actually, as you follow this hallway, it opens up to the formal dining room area. Some cabinetry and storage here. And on my right hand side, we have the pantry. Now, going back to our kitchen, this is where we have the second island and the small sink. Again, plenty of storage, plenty of cabinetry. Starting right here, we have the long subway tile design, your Wolf gas stove. Let's not forget the pot filler, right? All chrome fixtures because again, this is more of a traditional home. Hood rent right here with a cloud with the same cabinetry. And I really like these chrome pen and light fixtures with a linear Edison bulbs inside. And as we come up this way, this is where you have your microwave, more cabinetry. Also, I really like this open uh, upper cabinetry with the lighting inside. And Mike, can you come close for a second? I wanna show this detail. Now this is a cool hardware, check it out. You pull this out. Whoa. And you pull this out. I feel like usually on a corner cabinet like that, you might see like a lazy Susan or some kind of space saving cabinet, but I don't think we've ever seen something like that. This takes it to the next level. Yeah. And you tuck it back. Oh, there you go. This is pretty cool. And of course, your paneled dishwasher, farm sink, and nice casement windows. I wanna show this real quick. You open this one up and you crank these windows open for some ventilation. Aren't they nice? Yeah, just leave a pie there to cool off, you know? Mm hmm. That's right. All right, let's close this. Seal it off and kitchen extends out here. Some open shelving and again, timeless kitchen. I really like it. Goes with the white palette of this house. And we have these glass doors right here. Stacks on this side opening up to the backyard. We'll talk more on that later. Now, this is where we have the family room. Nice and cozy off of the kitchen. I really like this detail. They use the same hardwood floors also on this uh, fireplace and on this wall as well. Here's another cool detail. These windows are painted white on the outside, but they're painted black on the inside to bring a little bit of pop of color. I thought that was a cool detail. I felt like a lot of people would miss that. Yeah, and that's real wood or wood look tile? No, that's real wood, hardwood. Okay, cool. And good size family room, pretty straightforward. Obviously we have the fundamentals, built-in speakers, recessed lights, all that good stuff. And right here, we have dual elevation bar setup, plenty of bar seating, countertop continues all the way here. You get a bit of a sink, your TV is mounted here, complementing your family room. Now, we have a hallway on this side. On my left hand side, we have another window opening up to that interior courtyard. And this is the last room on this floor. Currently staged as an office, but this is one of the bedrooms. Let's go this way. Let's show this bathroom. Again, shake your cabinetry with nice countertops. And this one gets a top set up with tile walls, pretty straightforward. Going back to the room, we have the walk-in closet right here. Again, this is a bedroom, it's staged as an office, and we have a set of French doors right here opening up to the side of the property. 
and right here we have a bit of a concrete pad you can actually get a closer look to the private driveway and we have bluestone walkway right here that takes you up to the backyard and that's pretty much it for the first floor of this property why don't we go back to the staircase so we can take a look at the second floor <music> we're coming up to the second floor of this property you have an oversized grid window right here bringing natural light in and another beautiful restoration hardware chandelier all right now on my right hand side we have two bedrooms and the laundry room and on this wing of the house we have two more bedrooms a little hallway storage and let's go tour the bedroom at the end of this hallway so this one is the junior master king size bed Casement windows on each side, gets a lot of natural light. Right here, we have the walk-in closet and these French doors open up to the Juliet balcony where you can look at your driveway. Now, let's close up these doors and let's go toward the bathroom for this bedroom. Nice tile floors, white shaker cabinetry, and industrial light fixture above. And right here, we have the tub set up with the nice tiled walls. Again, pretty straightforward. Now, let's get back to the bedroom. And before we leave this bedroom, another detail I want to mention. Hinges are black. Door handles are black. The crank handles on the windows are black and even the door stoppers. So the developer really wanted to make sure they get that white and black contrast throughout the property. And you're missing one more black and white detail, Ines. Can you think of what it is? Uh, outside railings no on every awning they have on this house they have this black and white pattern oh uh, yeah kind of cloth design good catch mikey good one all right back to the hallway another bedroom same finishes this one also gets a ceiling fan like the other bedroom good size we have the casement windows on this side this one looks at kind of the back of the property and pretty much the same finishes white shaker cabinetry same light fixtures this one also gets a tub set up with different tiles on the walls. Now, before we leave this room, let's shove every room. Walk-in closet is right here. Going back to the hallway. Now, we are back at the landing of the second floor. On my right-hand side, this is where we have the laundry room. To bring a bit of pop of color, we have the cement floor tiles here, washer and dryer stack on this side with some storage. Of course, you get some sink, base and upper cabinets, good size laundry room for this level of the property. On my right hand side is the third bedroom on this floor, currently staged as a kid's room, gets the same ceiling fan, gets a balcony, which is right here. Again, looks kind of to the back of the property. And Mikey, actually, can you come outside for a second? because I want to show this. So this is the back of the property. We have another set of retaining wall right here. And they also have this built-in concrete drainage. In return, all that water that comes from the hillside can escape the property as quickly as possible, which is another great feature. All right, let's move inside, close this balcony door. This is where we have the bathroom for this bedroom. Again, shaker cabinetry, same light fixtures. This one also gets a tub set up, tile walls, casement window, and Closet for this bedroom is right here. Plenty of storage. And now let's go back to the hallway. We have one more area to cover before we talk about the master bedroom. We have a balcony right here, nicely tiled. You get a bit of a seating area. And this is where you can overlook towards your indoor courtyard area, which is really cool. Now let's tour the master bedroom. Nice and spacious. We have a seating area on this side. Bed is situated here. Before we talk more about the master bedroom, why don't we go this way to the walk-in closet. This is one side of the walk-in closet. Plenty of storage, a lot of shelving on this side, your shoe racks and your drawers, your hangers, plenty of storage. And as we go to the other side, the other side is a little bit bigger. Plenty of hanger space on this side, island on the center. And right here you get shelves, shoe racks, good size closet for a room like this. Now we're back 
at the master bedroom area. Again, pretty spacious seating area on this side. French doors open up to the master balcony. Bed is situated right here with a cloth back wall. And just like the family room, they use the same hardwood floors also here to clad this wall where we have the gas fireplace. This would be a good place to um, hang your TV if you need to. Wall to ceilings. Of course, we have the built-in speakers, which is lights here as well. Oversized picture window where you can get a perfect view of the San Fernando Valley from your master bed. And same grid detail, just like the family room also. This one is also painted black for Papa color. And we have the three tier molding detail on top. One thing I really like about the valley, we don't see this much in LA, is they have, it's a little bright out here guys, so you probably can't see, but they have pine trees here, which I find to be rather unusual, but. And authentic maybe? Yeah, it's a different kind of, it's a different kind of view you're looking at. There's mountains in the background, pine trees. It kind of feels like you're in like Northern California here. I agree, it's more peaceful and tranquil view. Yeah. It's, it's calm. Now, let's go this way. And this is where we have the master bathroom. Dual vanities, one on each side. Same finishes, shaker cabinetry. We like our medicine cabinets. So there you go. Even the inside is glass actually, which is really unique. Yeah, really classy place to keep some medication right there. Mm -hmm. Wall scouts on the each side, seating area right here. And at the end of this cabinetry, we have a makeup area with a circular mirror. Before I could even walk in, the fancy toilet opened up. We have another one on the other side. And going back out, this is where we have the freestanding tub. I love the chrome fixtures throughout this bathroom. Good size, this one is square design, a little bit more modern. And right here, let's open up this door so we can go into this massive walk-in shower. Nice, simple design, full tile walls. I really like the simple flooring here as well. Nicely sloped to the drain right here. Two sets of showers, handhelds on each side. Let's not forget the steam. Your steam outlet is beautifully tucked underneath this bench. And of course, right on top, we have the rain ahead and even they clad the ceiling with a tile. And in a, I think right here between these three shower heads is the place to be. I know, this is where the magic happens. Yeah, I mean, you got three shower heads on you, 1,000 gallons per second flowing on your head. I know, just total <laughs> waste, but it feels amazing, Yeah. right? All right, let's get out of this shower again. All the corners are glass, so it's nice and open, makes the space feel much bigger. And lastly, it's already open again. We have another one of these fancy toilets right here. Now, let's go back to the master bedroom. Let's get one more look at this amazing space. Very private, no one is looking in. You're looking at the incredible green lush valley views. Let's open up these French doors so we can go out to the master bedroom balcony. Nicely tiled. Incredible views, bit of a seating area and a trellis design right here. More column details. This is a beautiful place to be. You can leave those doors open all the time and it's nice that Master gets a private balcony. And that wraps our tour on the second floor of this property. Now, why don't we go downstairs, open up the glass sliding doors so we can take a look at that backyard. So we're back on the first floor. Let's open up these glass sliding doors. And what's nice about these doors is that they have the same grid design detail like the rest of the windows throughout the property. So it matches the design of the house. And now we have the living room opened up to the covered patio area. Let's go this way, start on this side. We have an outdoor seating area right here with a fire pit in the center and this steel pergola with a retractable canopy design so you can have it covered or not. And as we walk back to the covered patio, we have outdoor ceiling fence here, obviously the built-in speakers, recessed lights. It's nicely tiled here. Again, opens up to the backyard. As we go this way, we have another steel per uh, pergola design right here. And this is where you have your outdoor barbecue area, bar seating, you get a sink. And Mikey, can you come on this side? They of course have a brand new outdoor fridge here. And let's not forget the gas barbecue. 
with a backyard like this, you gotta have a barbecue. I know. Outdoor dining area. And also they have these nice slate flagstone stones right here, specifically where the outdoor table is. It's nice and private up here. And you can see the retaining wall in the back. As we go back to the walkway, we have a nice grass area on my left-hand side. And before we start talking about the pool, guest house. So we saw the first one at the entry of this property on the driveway and we have a second guest house. So it's open space, currently staged as a gym, gets a nice light fixture and has a split AC unit right here. And this is where we have the half bathroom. Again, this could kind of work as a pool house as well because right next to the pool. And let's go back out and let's talk about this beautiful Infinity Edge pool. Infinity Edge pools are better when you have a beautiful view to look at. In this case, we have this green view of the San Fernando Valley and the hillside. Here's another detail I like, my personal favorite, simple white plaster. It makes the pool look very clean and blue and it's very enticing. I almost wanna just jump in right now. And we have a glass tile around the perimeter of the Infinity Edge and even at the spa right here. Plenty of concrete pad right here for lounging and again, can't stress this enough. Very private, very tranquil up here. You get the grass, you get the flat backyard, you get the privacy, you get your private driveway, you get it all at this house. And that kind of wraps our tour for this house. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, always leave us a comment below and you'll get a response from me. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We tour incredible properties every single week. And before we end this video, I want to thank the developer, JB Home Builders, for allowing us to tour their amazing development. Make sure to follow them on Instagram. I want to thank the listing agents for allowing us to tour their listing as well. And we'll see you guys next Monday. <laughs>